You know, the pandemic has touched all of us in one way or another. But for those without reliable shelter, the problems can multiply quickly. Guiding Light provides services to the homeless and is partnering with other humanitarian organizations to help those most in need over these cold winter months. Here with more, Starla McDermott. Good morning, Starla. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely our pleasure. Can you tell us how the pandemic has affected homelessness and other issues? Is, is there a shortage of shelter? Are we seeing more homelessness? Yes, we're definitely seeing more homelessness. And um, with the pandemic, we have to, you know, social distance. And so space is not readily available as it used to. And then add on top that there is a lot more homeless. We're kind of expecting, um, by the way things look, that there'll be about 100 individuals over the winter who will not be able to find shelter due to lack of space. Uh, if you could just ponder that for a moment to consider sleeping. Uh, you know, I woke up this morning, I saw the frost on my car and, and on the grass out there. You know it's getting like, nothing but colder out there. And you're talking about 100 people out there sleeping in that through the night. You say the main issue with this would be that you have to have that social distancing now, so less people in one space. So you've done some partnership with uh, Meltroner and others to try to alleviate that problem. Can you explain? Yes. Yeah, so we're um, we have been um, leadership has been talking with Meltroner leadership pretty much since July, when we started to recognize that there could be a devastating issue this winter. And really what we're doing is we're out there trying to find temporary space to be able to house these hundred individuals who currently are right now um, in tent cities around our city. They're at Hartside Park over by Market Avenue. Um, so really we're just trying to figure out what building or what solution we can do to house these individuals. But I mean, I know December doesn't look like it's gonna be terrible weather, but once January, we're gonna have our Michigan winters back. Oh, my goodness. Even if it would be considered a mild winter for us still to, to consider being out in the elements 24 seven. So you're looking for more locations, basically more space. Uh, to put. that's that's a good option. Are there any other other yeah. options out there besides temporary well, space? Well, I mean, we could we could arm um, these individuals with things to try to withstand outside. But I think our, our number one goal is to find shelter. Um, which can be a very big expense for both Mel Trotter and Guiding Light to take on. Um, but we could arm them with tents, um, sleeping bags, coats, things like that. But really, I think our number one goal is to find a find some financing and find a solution to shelter them during the winter. So basically, Starlin, if I'm hearing you correctly, funding and space, these are our two most urgent needs. How can someone watching this, if they have uh, access to one of those two things or possibly both, help? Yes, absolutely. Um, if they want to help financially um, to help us support these individuals that are going to be out on the street, they can um, visit our website at guidinglightworks.org. Um, if there is somebody out there who might have some viable housing um, or buildings that we could utilize, they can contact us at 616-451-0236. Our main goal is that we want to stay in the Heartside neighborhood, neighborhood because that is the community that these individuals live in, and, we, and they don't tend to want to leave their home. So we are looking for a space that could be in the Heartside area. If that's you, reach out, please, and do what you can to help. GuidingLightWorks.org would be the website to go to. Starla McDermott, thank you so much for the information and your time this morning.